Assalamu alaikum. Today we will solve exercise 74a from mathematics 1. Now number 21 express as a single fraction. So how can you solve it? x minus x minus y by 2. So look here LCM is 2 then 2 into x that is twice x. After twice x when we are solving this one please add bracket otherwise you will make mistake. Okay, then 2x, 2x, minus into x, minus x, minus into minus plus y divided by 2. Look at this, 2x minus x, that will be x plus y divided by 2. That is the answer of number 21. Now, 22. 22 says x minus x plus y divided by 2. So how can you solve it? Look, LCM is 2. 2 into x, that is twice x, minus, we have to add bracket here. Okay? Then, 2x minus into x, minus x, minus into plus y, minus y divided by 2. Then, 2x minus x, that will be x minus y by 2. That is the answer of number 22. Now, 23. 23 says x divided by 2 minus x minus y by 3. At first, we have to find out the LCM of 2 and 3. That will be 6. Then we will write the numerator in this way. Okay. Then 6 divided by 2, that will be 3. We will write 3 here. 6 divided by 3, that will be 2. We have to write 2 here. Okay. Then we have to simplify this one after removing the brackets. So, try 6 minus 2 into x minus twice 6 minus 2 into minus y, that will be plus 2y divided by 6. So, try 6 minus 2x, that will be x plus 2y by 6. That is the answer of number 23. Now, 24. 24 says x divided by 2 minus x plus y divided by 3. At first, try to find out the LCM of 2 and 3. That will be 6. Then, write the numerator in this way. Okay. Then, look at this. 6 divided by 2, that will be 3. And 6 divided by 3, that will be then we have to remove the brackets and simplify this expression. So, try 6 minus 2 into x minus twice x minus 2 into plus y minus 2y divided by 6. So, try 6 minus 2x that will be x minus 2y divided by 6. That is the answer of number 24. Now, 25. 25 says x minus y minus x plus y divided by 2. So at first, look, LCM is 2. So 2 into x, that is twice x, then minus 2y minus x plus y. We have to keep this x plus y in bracket, okay? Now, we have to simplify after removing the bracket. So 2x minus 2y minus into x minus 6 minus into plus y minus y divided by 2. Then we have to rearrange them. So 2x minus x minus 2y minus y divided by 2. So what is 2x minus 6? 2x minus 6 that will be x minus 2y minus y that will be minus 3y. So x minus 3y by 2 will be the Final answer of number 25. Now, 26. 26 says x plus y minus x minus y by 2. So, LCM of the denominator is 2. So, 2 into x, 2x plus 2y minus, keep it in brackets. Then, 2x plus 2y minus into x, minus x, minus into minus y, plus y divided by 2. Then, look at this, 2x minus x, 
then plus 2i plus y divided by 2. Then after simplifying this one, we will get our final answer. 2x minus x, that will be x. 2i plus y, that will be plus 3y divided by 2. So x plus 3y by 2 will be the final answer of 26. Now 27. 27 says 1 minus a minus b by a. So what will be the LCM of these denominators? So here we get a will be the denominator. a into 1, a minus a minus b. We have to keep this expression in bracket. Then a minus into a minus a minus into minus b plus b divided by a. Now we have to cut a and a. The answer will be b by a. That is the answer of number 27. Now, 28. 28 says 1 minus a plus b by a. So what is the LCM of these denominators 1 and a? It will be a. a into 1, that is a minus a plus b. We have to keep it in bracket. a minus into a minus a minus into plus b minus b divided by a. Now we have to cut it. How can we cut? A and A both are gone. So final answer will be minus B by A. Very simple. Now number 29. 29 says 2 minus 2A minus B divided by A. Look, LCM will be A. So A into 2, that will be 2A minus 2A minus B. Next. We have to simplify it to a minus 2a minus into minus b, that is plus b divided by a. We can cut 2 and 2a, then answer will be b by a. That is the final answer of 29. Now 30. Actually, 29 and 30 both problems are same problem. There is a little change up here. So 2 minus 2a plus b divided by 2. Simple. Then 2. 2 is a 4 minus we have to keep 2a plus b in bracket. Then look 4 minus 2a minus into plus b that is minus b divided by 2. And it is the final answer of number 13. Now solve the equation. We can understand an equation if it has two important characteristics. One is variable. Okay. It should have a variable and an equal sign. Look, here both expression make an equation by using this equation sign. And there is an x, so that is a variable. Okay, so now we have to solve one by one. At first, 31. 31 says 2x equal to x minus 6. From this equation, we have to find out the value of x. How can we solve it? So if we want to move this plus x on this side, then it will be minus 6. So 2x minus x equal to minus 6. In an equation, always there will be two sides. If we move plus on another side, that means plus number on another side, then it will be converted into negative sign. Negative sign will be converted into positive sign. Multiplication will be converted into division. Division will be converted into multiplication. This plus 6, if when we are moving this x on this side, that means plus 6 after moving plus 6 or after changing the side of x on another side, it, was, it will be converted into negative sign. So look at this, 2x minus x, that will be x. So x equal to minus 6. And that is the final answer of 31. And you can check that your answer is right or wrong. How can you check it? At left hand side, you can see there is a 2x. And right hand side, there is x minus 6. Look, at x, if you put that value, then you will see 2 into minus 6, that will be minus 12. So, left hand side, the value is minus 12. And right hand side, if we put the value of x, that is minus 6 minus 6, it will be minus 12. Look, our answer is correct. Why? Because left hand side equal to right hand side. Number 32. 32 says, 36 equal to x minus 6. Look, we have to move this x on this side. 
So 3, 6 plus 6 after changing the side, it will be negative x equal to minus 6. Now, what is 3, 6 minus x? That will be 2x. So 2x equal to minus 6. Now, we can see that 2 multiplied by x. That means there is a multiplication. So after moving these two on another side, so minus 6 divided by 2. Then our final answer will be x equal to 6 by 2, that is 3. So minus 3 will be the final answer. Now 33. 33 says half of x minus 1 equal to minus 5. Look, half of x, that means x by 2. If I move minus 1 on this side, we can say it will be minus 5 plus 1. Then x divided by 2 equal to minus 5 plus 1, that is minus 4. x will be minus 4 multiplied by 2. That means, therefore, x equal to minus 8. And that is the solution of this equation. Now, 34. 34 says, try 6 minus 1 equal to x minus 5. Very simple problem. Look at this, we have to write the letters, that means variable, together and the constant together. So if we move this plus x on this side, then it will be minus x. And if I move minus 1, that means negative on this side, then it will be plus 1. Simple. So try 6 minus x, that will be twice 6. Minus 5 plus 1, that will be minus 4. Now we have to move these two on another side, then it will be minus 4 divided by 2. So after dividing 4 by 2, we'll get our final answer, that is minus 2. Okay, now 35. 35 and 34, both the same question, same method, we can solve it. 5x minus 7 equal to 2x minus 1. So we have to move this 2x on this side, then it will be 5x minus 2x, and if we want to move minus 7 on this side, then it will be minus 1 plus 7. Now we have to simplify. 5x minus 2x, that will be 36. And if we subtract 1 from 7, it will be 6. Now we have to divide both sides by 3. Then we will get 6 divided by 3. Then our final answer will be 2. 6 divided by 3, that will be 2. That is the final answer of 35. Now, 36. How can you solve 36? 7 divided by 8 multiplied by x equal to minus 14. Now, look at this. 7x divided by 8 equal to minus 14. Look, there is a division here. So, we have to move this 8 on another side. Then we can say it will be 7x equal to minus 14 multiplied by 8. Now, if I move this 7 on another side, that means if we divide both sides by 7, then we will get x equal to minus 14 multiplied by 8 by 7. Because we are dividing 7 on both sides. Now, 14 by 7, it will be 2. Therefore, the final answer of x will be minus 2 multiplied by 8, that is minus 16. So, the solution of 36 is minus 16. Now, 37. 37 says 8y minus 2 equal to minus 3 minus 2y. How can you solve it? Very simple. We have to move minus 2y on this side and minus 2 on this side. Then we'll get 8y minus 2y. After moving this minus 2y on this side, it will be plus 2y. And minus 2 on that side, it will be minus 3 plus 2. Now, 8y plus 2y, that will be 10y, equal to minus 3 plus 2, that is minus 1. Then, we have to divide both sides by 10. Then, final answer will be minus 1 by 10. Very simple. Now, 38. 38 says, x minus x minus 3 by 2, equal to 1. At first, we have to else find out the LCM of this 1 and 2, it will be 2. 2 into x, that is twice x, minus, keep it in bracket, x minus 3, equal to 1. Now, how can you solve it? Look, 2x minus into x minus x minus into minus 3, 
plus 3 divided by 2 equal to 1. So 2x minus x, that will be x plus 3 by 2 equal to 1. Now we have to move these two on another side. Then we have to multiply these two by 1. It will be 2. Then, then after moving plus 3 on another side, it will be 2 minus 3. Therefore, we'll get our final answer. That is 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1. Now, 39. 39 says z minus z minus 2 divided by 2 equal to 4. At first, we have to find out the LCM. Then it will be 2. 2 into z, that is 2z minus, keep it in bracket, z minus 2 equal to 4. Okay. Then we can say that 2 is the denominator right now. So we can write 2z minus into z minus z minus into minus 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Now look at this 2z minus z that will be z plus 2 divided by 2 equal to 4. Then we have to move this 2 on another side. Then it will be 2 multiplied by 4 that will be 8. Now after moving this plus 2 on this side it will be minus 2. That means z equal to 8 minus 2. And what is the value of 8 minus 2? That will be 6. And that is the answer of 39. Now our last question, number 40. 40 says 3p minus p minus 1 by 2 equal to 3. So how can you solve 2? 2, 3 is a 6. 6p minus p minus 1. We have to keep it in bracket equal to 3. Now, 6p, after multiplying this minus with this one, we'll get minus p plus 1, then divided by 2 equal to 3. Now, we have to simplify this one. 6p minus p, that will be 5p plus 1 by 2 equal to 3. Now, we have to move this 2 on another side, then it will be 5p plus 1 equal to 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. Then we have to move this plus 1 on another side. It will be minus 1. So 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1, that will be 5. So now we have to divide 5 from both sides. Then our final answer will be p equal to 1. Okay. And that is the solution of number 40. So in this way, we can easily solve this chapter. So thank you very much for watching the solution of exercise 74A. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Piyamanillah.